So I think the next question is why? Why is this such a focus? Why is Lamar Smith oh, obsessed I with mean, it? I mean, we talked about this before the before the hearing. We talked about it a little bit after. Like, I mean, this is obviously this is what they're going to talk well, about. Well, I mean, we have our theories on why, but I think it's instructive to hear them in their own words articulate why. And that's what Joe Bass did in this speech. If the public is told that there's still debate and uncertainty on this, public support for their agenda just evaporates. Um, focus group meetings show that all the time. We see the same focus group results that the other side looks at. And anytime you say, well, some scientists disagree, boom, half of the people in the room say, oh, wait a minute. You know, this isn't gospel truth. This isn't religion. So he, he kind of references um, focus groups and how if the public perceives there to be a lack of agreement, then their support for any sort of action on climate change just disappears. And that is certainly what um, we've talked about this before, what Frank Luntz found, um, famous conservative pollster Frank Luntz found in his focus group work back in the late 90s. And um, really only much later did kind of social science then come around and find basically the same thing in that um, perceived consensus on climate change and really kind of any scientific subject is sort of a gateway belief for people's attitudes about about um, problems. So if they if people think uh, scientists agree about something, they they treat it like a problem. They want they want action. And if people think that scientists don't agree, then they don't see a problem. Right. Social scientists in the arena of climate change only started to figure this out in about 2011. The first paper finding this gateway belief aspect of perceived consensus we were beaten to the punch by a decade or, or probably yeah, much, much decade, longer yeah. um so it's nice to hear you know the heartland institute be so blunt about why they're attacking the consensus you could argue that at least they're being evidence-based in their yeah, message yeah, yeah yeah they're probably listening to this podcast and the, taking the notes. only the only really solidly evidence-based stance they're taking is that attacking the consensus is actually a solid strategy